The following interview was conducted with Heather Hudson and Joanne Hudson for the Purdue University Oral History Project. It took place on August 4th, 2017 at the Indiana State Fair. The interviewer is Adriana Harmeyer. Now, could you both just introduce where you're from and what years you attended Purdue? Um, I'm Joanne Hudson, Carmel, Indiana. Well, Fishers now, but um, I attended Purdue 1980, 1985, electrical engineering. And I'm Heather Hudson, her daughter, and I am also from Carmel, and I attended Purdue from 2007 to 2011. Now, both of you, do you remember the first time you visited Purdue? I do. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't like it at first. It was my. It was a really bad day for a tour. It was raining, and I honestly like was pretty gung ho about going to IU at that point because I had a great tour there. And I don't know what happened, but one day I just woke up later on and just decided I need to go to Purdue. Like that's where all my family went. All my uncles went there. My mom and uh, all my siblings ended up going to Purdue as well. Back in the day, there were we did not. My dad did not take us anywhere to visit, and he just wanted all his kids to be engineers, and I was fine with that. So my first day at Purdue was the the day I moved in. What was that experience like? Uh, I don't remember. I just remember moving into Meredith and meeting my roommate, and it was I liked it. It was great. Did you live at Meredith the whole time? No. Where else did you live? Um, after I lived in Meredith, I started co-oping, so I was in Fort Wayne half the time, and then when I was back on campus, I was in Grad House. Okay. And what about you? Um, I lived in Windsor my first year in Dooney Hall, and then my next two years were at Sigma Kappa, and then my senior year I was in some apartments um, closer to, like, Chauncey Hill. Okay. As you visited Purdue with your daughter, what have you noticed has changed about campus? Oh my gosh, <laughs> the whole thing has changed. It's just so built up. Mm -hmm. It's just really, but it's so beautiful because it's all that they've kept with the red brick and everything, but it's just really, really a lot nicer, I think. It just looks really nice, but it still has that tradition and the old stuff's still there too, but yeah, it's just really cool. It's cool seeing your kids go there and yeah, I liked it. Good. What do you think has stayed the same? Harry's. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that has stayed the same. The stadium, it kind of needs to be upgraded, the football stadium. I think they're working on that. But just the the feel of it, like the Elliott Hall of Music, it's the same. You know, Is the I, clock tower the same? The clock tower? Uh, that, I, that wasn't there when I was there. I don't, okay. I don't think. I don't, I don't think it was. No, yeah, it wasn't. So that's, that's new. But. You both spent a lot of time at Harry's as students. No, no not <laughs> me. More than she did, probably. <laughs> not me. You can't. You don't have time for that stuff when you're in engineering. Yeah, uh -huh. that's true. <laughs> Do you remember any other places you spent time as a student? I was in the All American Marching Band, which was really, really fun. Mm -hmm. So that was where all my extracurricular time was spent. What did you play in the band? Alto sax. Do you have any particular memories related to to band trips or performances? We went to one bowl game in Tennessee. And then after that, Purdue never like never went back to another ball game. But that was the Liberty Bowl, and it was it was just so much fun. Mm -hmm. The band's just a fun because you know there's no music school, so it's just for fun. Mm -hmm. And it was. That's great. And what about you? Where did you spend time on campus? Uh, I spent a lot of time at my sorority, so Sigma Kappa. I spent a lot of time there. Um, I would say I was a. Um, management major, so I spent a lot of time at Craner as well. Do you have any specific memories that stand out to you when you think about your time as a student, specific mm -hmm. moments? Football games, definitely, breakfast clubs, and uh, my siblings coming to Purdue was really cool too, just getting to like show them around campus and um, like, just, I don't know, just having, there was four of us there at once, so it was just a really unique oh, wow. experience, I think. Just to, I was a senior when my sisters were freshmen, so just getting to kind of be with them there. So would you say Purdue is a family tradition? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we got to be in the alumni magazine, remember? Oh, yeah, I do remember that. They did a yeah. family tradition thing feature, and um, <laughs> because we had four kids at Purdue, and I went to Purdue. Oh, my gosh, my cousins that are there now. Yeah. So. We got a lot of people that went. That's great. 
So do you have anything about Purdue that you think gets overlooked that should get more attention? I think just all of it really, like people don't, a lot of people who aren't from Indiana don't know a lot about Purdue, I think. Like a lot of them are like, oh, is that an Ivy League school? Because it doesn't sound like Indiana State or but, like, you know. But they do recognize it. Yeah. They recognize yeah. it as but a the, good so they school. Think it's, yeah, they think it's like an Ivy League school. They don't know a whole lot about it. So I would say, yeah, I just, people need to come and visit and see what it's all about. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I don't know if anything gets overlooked because I think they do a good job with their with their marketing and but it's just so I don't know it's very homey I think it's a because the campus is so compact I think it's very interactive and just maybe that experience gets overlooked but and just that it's in Lafayette helps too because it is like a small town mm -hmm. yeah. do you have any advice for students coming into Purdue study hard um, get involved and make friends because it makes your time there just so worth it because you're gonna some remember the, the people yeah some of the best times of your life yeah <laughs> do you have any more memories that stand out from your time as a student any particular places or moments that that you'd be interested in sharing I get to think about that one. <laughs> basketball games are pretty pretty awesome did you attend a lot of basketball well, games? well yeah because I was in the pep band mm -hmm. so all of them um, you didn't go to as many, but they're so much fun. I did my senior year with Eric. I yeah, remember. yeah. I remember that. Um, I would say rush <laughs> when you're rushing for a sorority is something that's memorable because once you're in the sorority, you're still you're on the other side of it, so you're welcoming incoming freshmen, and that's a whole ordeal on its own. So you're really like locked in for a couple weeks um, with just you and your sisters. So it's it's pretty cool. I won't forget that. But the best time at Purdue is the fall, when all the students are coming mm -hmm. back and everybody's just, I don't know, it just seems like everybody's just ready to get back to school and there's so much celebrating and partying and football and it's that's so the best pretty. time. <laughs> and it's pretty. Fountain runs. Yeah. When we first move in and you're a freshman, all the freshmen run through the fountains. Remember that? Mm -hmm. Yep. It's fantastic. Do you have any final comments or thoughts you'd like to share about Purdue? Mm. Mm, not, not really <laughs> yeah it's just an awesome it's you can't make a better choice mm -hmm. it's really good yeah we still go back and visit all the time we so do we go for tailgates and see my cousins and go to football games still so something we'll probably do for and we always forever. will yeah yep. we always will it'll always be a, a part of our lives well, that's great well thank you thanks thanks